Capricorn. Welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person love tarot reading. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay, uh, Capricorn? And also stick around till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make about a Valentine's Day giveaway. All right, so Capricorn, I was meditating on your energy and I was getting a sense of like, oh, I can breathe. Uh, the hard times are hopefully finally over. Uh, maybe you and your person came to a happy medium here or just I feel like it's been a little bit tough or trying for you uh, in love or in a relationship. And I feel like now you're finally like feeling free or like weight is off of your shoulders things are moving along um the way that you wanted so it's a good energy all right so keep that in mind and let's see what is your overall energy for this reading overall energy all right yeah so a never-ending story and chop wood i feel like there were cycles um again could have been arguments disputes disagreements karmic lessons things like that that you felt like were never ending. Um, then we have chop wood. So I feel like you could have been either focusing your thoughts or whatever Capricorn into work, hobbies, things like that. Wow, breathe. Remember I said, like you take it a breath of fresh air. Yeah, I feel like now and then new life. So you could have been basically carrying a burden for a little while here and i feel like now that's kind of getting released uh what is your person's overall energy capricorn's person's overall energy you could be meditating or going within but i feel like there's a sense of like a renewal here or a, a new life starting fresh for some of you uh let's see your person has building blocks and peace so yeah, your person, same thing, like they just want like possibly a peaceful new beginning. There's an egg in the picture, which is a new beginning, new start, um, fertility, and then building blocks. Yeah, underlying energy, fork in the road, an orphaned. Somebody could have been feeling a little bit like left out in the cold or there was some stuck stagnant energy going on. Um, one of you could have been struggling to make a decision. Do I, don't I, will I, won't I, that kind of a thing. But I feel like both of you just want some kind of peaceful new beginning and, and building blocks. I feel like there is strength here. They're, they want structure or just a solid foundation. All right, um, but let's get into your person's current energies, Capricorn. Keep in mind when I say current energies for your person, it could be or any energies for your person. It could be you, not them. So feel free to flip-flop and reverse. And I'm sorry about my dog. All right. Could have been dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, we do have Eight of Cups and King of Swords. Male or female doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot. All right. Um, either there was harsh words or uh, someone was being very blunt, mean, harsh, rude. Uh, with their words, emotionless, you know, um, and I feel like someone may have had to walk away here or they could be walking away from that behavior if they felt like they were always like on your ass, on your case, you know, giving you a hard time, always giving you shit, you know, um, but let's see what else current energies. Wow. King and queen of swords. You both were mirroring each other. <laughs> Capricorn, you do dish out what you get. You do. You guys are like that. And it's not in a bad way, but you match energies, right? Uh, you guys are big on being an empath and picking up other people's emotions. So I feel like when this person was dishing it out, so were you. You weren't taking their crap. You were standing your ground. They were standing theirs. And I feel like it caused some kind of disconnect here between the two of you. Um, you both could have been a little bit hard with your words or actions more words though uh, but let's see what else current energies current energies Capricorn's person Knight of Pentacles Virgo energy things could have been moving like painfully slow to get over this hump it's like that never like you have in your energy that never-ending story it was like we'd fight like 
fight, break up, make up, fight, break up, make up, false starts, false starts, like things weren't changing. It was the same thing over and over again. But I feel like, um, and it felt like slow moving, like when is this going to change? When is this going to go the right way? But I feel like, hold on, let me get more because I'm kind of sensing what, what's happening here. Yeah, see, and then waiting, like waiting, three of wands, like are things ever going to change? Are things ever going to move forward? What else? Current energies, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with a water sign. It doesn't have to be. Uh, Queen of Cups is a lot of emotions here, so... Your person, I feel, could have been waiting for you to show some kind of an emotion. Like, you guys don't wear your heart on your sleeves. You're very practical, methodical, um, grounded, that earthly energy. You're very um, work-focused, career-focused, hobby-driven, things like that. And I feel like this person may have been trying to poke at you so much to get some kind of emotion from you, all right? Um, but Five of Swords, definitely some chaos, conflict, bickering, pointing the fingers, tit for tat, arguing, disputes, that kind of a thing going on. And I feel like it almost made this connection, like, uh, gave it a big emotional imbalance, all right? You have emotions, you just don't show them, right? And I feel like your person was getting frustrated with that. Um, or you could have been, but let's see. Uh, blockages, what's blocking this connection? What's blocking this connection? I feel like your person has love uh, to give to you, um, but they could feel like they're shut down now or something along those lines. Let's see what was blocking this three of swords and ace of swords. So truth, victory, clarity, um, a broken heart, heartache, pain. So there could have been some kind of truth that came out that caused some kind of heartbreak. All right. What else? What else? Blockages for Capricorn blockages. Wow, King of Cups. So now we have the King and Queen of Cups. For some of you, you could be married to this person. <laughs> For some of you, you could be... There could even have been like discussion of a divorce for some of you, if you are married. Or that could have just been the breakup. I do see you guys being divine counterparts. So we have that Scorpio uh, predominant, Cancer Pisces. If you are dealing with a water sign, it could be any sign, but I feel like they were kind of blocking this. Your person may carry a lot of emotions, especially if it is a water sign. Um, and they could have been feeling a little brokenhearted, possibly from some kind of truth or some words. Again, Capricorn, feel free to flip-flop and reverse this. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag, and the High Priest, Commitment. For, for some of you, there's a marriage here. Either you or your person could have been married to somebody else. Or, or for some of you, there's a battle of commitment going on here. Like, they want to get married, you don't. You want to get married, they don't. Or, or in a higher level of commitment or something along those lines. Um, you could have been feeling like you were being tested with this person all the time. So it was like, why would I want to spend forever with you when you're constantly on my ass about shit? You know what I mean? And I feel like that could be where some of the arguments have taken place here. And that's why, like, they have peace and building blocks. It's like, can we just call it a truce and, like, start fresh and rebuild? We have the Empress, Taurus energy. There could be, like, baby mama drama going on, or there could be if this person was married to somebody or you were married to somebody in the past and have children with them. 
that could be um, in the way if someone wants to have children, the other one doesn't, that could be in the way. I'm feeling a very big, this is why I'm saying like, could be marriage, could be pregnancy, could be, you know, an ex, could be, because there are people involved here. There's a lot of energies going on. And I feel like I'm reading for a big group of people here. And I feel like there, there's just such a, you guys are so far on, like not on the same page that nothing is, is hitting that yin yang. Nothing is coming into balance. It's completely like off. A lot of confusion, a lot of confusion. Someone could have been keeping their options open for some of you. Like I said, for some of you, this this person or you just weren't having commitment. See, so how does this person truly feel about you? How does this person truly feel about you? Capricorn. I just saw the fool. Ace of Wands. So taking a leap of faith, there is attraction. Chemistry, passion, desire. Right, what else? How else do they feel about you, Cap? How else do they truly feel about you? This definitely seems chaotic. There's the tower. There you are. Scorpionic energy, Queen of Pentacles. That's Capricorn energy. Uh, yeah, tower. Definitely tower moments going on here. <sighs> We have four of swords, ten of cups, and six of swords. I feel like they want to heal this and move things on to calmer waters. And I feel like you do too. There is something here in this connection. There was just such a off balance going on. There's something either divinely guided or in divine timing or karma, a lesson to be learned here. How else do they feel about you, Cap? There is love. There is a lot of love. The Ten of Cups. I feel like they want to like heal this and move on to calmer waters. I feel like there was like a shocking news or sudden event or just things building up that had to come crashing down. Three of Cups. For some of you, there was a third party situation that could have resulted in a pregnancy for some of you. For others of you, yeah, there could have been a third party situation. Could have been a Taurus, could have been a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sag, could have been a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could have been any sign. I have all of them here on the board. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could have been any sign here. But they love you. Ten of Pentacles, an Ace of Cups, and Ten of Cups. Like, they do want forever with you. The Three of Cups may just be that they want to, like, go out and celebrate, have some fun, instead of this, like, dreary, dragging, heavy energy. But again, I said they, they do love you. A lot of Scorpionic energy. They want to talk. They want, look at there's you. They want to talk to you, Capricorn, about some kind of transformation or some kind of change. They want to have some conversation with you about that. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. Keep in mind, uh, you all have free will. This can change. All right, you can change your mind. They can change your mind. This is just a snapshot. And also, I'm not here to tell you what to do, so use your own discernment, okay? Um, starting off with Eight of Wands for the outcome. Communication, talking. I just saw a Knight of Cups. That's a romantic gesture, an apology. Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. Justice, Libra energy, balancing the scales, having things be fair, you know, um, justice. Both getting your way, both on the same page, coming together, having that understanding. For some of you, there could be a divorce. Um, 
I don't feel like it's with this person though. So if you're resonating with this and you're married to someone else or they're married to someone else and that's what's gotten in the way of all of this, like they're separated but they're not divorced yet and you guys can't move forward until that happens, I see that happening, all right? So take that as it resonates. All right, what else? Potential outcome, potential outcome. Six of Swords, moving on to calmer waters after some stuck energy and the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. You guys are going to move on from this chaos, conflicts, rushing in, rushing out, uh, love bombing or arguments, disputes, feeling stuck, not seeing things clearly. That's about to change. There's a big change that's about to happen with this connection for the better. It's going to give you like a sense of like a new life. Like you're going to be happy about this connection. What else? Potential outcome. I mean, some of you could say, hell no, I ain't doing it. But some of you, I mean, you could look at two of cups, queen of wands. And king of wands so we have king and queen of swords king and queen of cups king and queen of wands here the both of you could be married and separated and now coming together i don't know place that where you see fit but i do see there's a lot of passion attraction desire i feel like you guys are going to start taking action towards each other this is a soulmate bond that two of cups there will be an equal exchange of love going on between the two of you. There's chemistry here. And if there was a third party, that's going to be abandoned. That's going to end. I, I do feel like there was a fire sign that was possibly for some of you, a, a third party or something like that. I feel like that's going to come to an end and this is going to move on to calmer waters. Yeah, the chariot. Things are going to move forward. Cancerian energy. There may be a period of, I just, I feel like that's all going to end. The sleepless nights, the stress, the anxiety, the worry, the arguments, the all of that. You guys, I feel like are going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yeah. Lay the secrets or whatever out on the table and the star. A wish come true. Having hope and faith. So Aquarius energy, Scorpio, Pisces energy, High Priestess. For some of you, Capricorn, I do see it going the other way. I do feel like you may just end this and, like, move in silence. But that's, I don't feel that's for a lot of you. I feel like most of you are, whatever this stressful crap was that was going on, that's coming to an end. And then it's like, you can breathe again. Your wishes are going to come true. Yeah. Your perspectives are going to change. You're going to be on the same page. But it's, it's like not until you have that conversation. Like there's going to, there's a need for a heart to heart talk to like lay everything out on the table and have compassion, understanding, perspective, that kind of a thing. All right, what's the biggest obstacle Capricorn's going to have to overcome in this connection? Biggest obstacle? Success. Yeah, finding the success and victory within this connection. Um, believing it can happen. Having that hope and faith that it can happen. All right, um, but there is success here. Trust. Having trust and faith. That this person isn't going to do you wrong, do you dirty, take from you, steal from you. All right. Um, seeing things clearly, but again, trust, having that trust and faith.
There is success here. All right, what other messages do we have? What other messages do we have for Capricorn? We'll get into that right after this quick message. Hi everyone, thank you so much for sticking with me until this part in your reading. I really appreciate all your love and support for my channel. Your reading is not done, so please just bear with me. I promise I'll make this message quick. Um, I am doing a Valentine's Day giveaway on or around February 14th. The winner will be chosen in order to enter. All you have to do is have a personal reading done or a distance Reiki healing session done. So um, up until February 14th, if you've already had any of my services, uh, you are already entered, okay? So I am giving away a karma sutra uh deck all right so it's it's pretty fun there's some different uh fun ways to connect with your person in there i'm also giving away a sage smudge stick um the palo santo stick selenite crystal wand and also a rose quartz so all of this will be included into the giveaway for february 14th all right and also you guys remember i still have my 10k subscriber giveaway going on so if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button um also please share with your friends and family uh the 10k giveaway all the details are in the description box but i'm giving away um an ipad oracle card decks tarot card decks free services free readings um so it's going to be a really big one we're halfway there actually over halfway there so thank you so much for all your love and support let's get back into your reading all right capricorn we have material world money career status third dimension make your mark there's something here you could be afraid this person's going to take all your money or you know take alimony child support or they're using you for finances or something like that um, because the miser is here too with all the jewels and the, you know, um, so I wouldn't overthink that too much. We have potential fulfillment, risk achievement. Your potential is limitless. I do feel this connection has potential to be successful and strong and long term. And then ego, pride, jealousy, self preservation walls. Let your guard down. Both of you need to let your guard down. You both started off like with your sword out, like. <laughs> <laughs> put your sword down look forgive tranquility peaceful mind and uh, heart freedom from the past vibration energy and positivity raise your vibration twin flames eternal love reincarnation passion twin seeking union this is a soulmate twin flame bond here all right what else do we have for capricorn The sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Yeah, like I said, you guys are really coming at each other with your sword out, but really there was love here, all right, that just needed to be uncovered. Uh, let's see, the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Uh, definitely saw that a little bit come through here the abandonment so that could be the problem there could have been like a insecurity coming through from one of you guys um probably maybe your person uh engagement ring engagement partnership completion union eternity and hammer you're gonna work on this this could lead to engagement marriage um sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it see all right, what would this person like to say to you? What would this person like to say to you? It just takes work and effort, you know? That's too many. Let's see, what else? It said, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late, which could be the case. You know, this person could have had an aha moment after walking away from you or losing you or you walking away, whatever. Yeah, look, rebirth. Wow, look, rebirth, rebirth. <laughs> All right, there, there's going to be a huge transformation here. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? So your person could be hesitant on having this conversation, or you could. All right. Anything else for Capricorn? It's way too many. I'll just read the top one. I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. So yeah, they're craving you and desiring you, Capricorn. Um, this, I don't feel is over. I feel like this is going to come back together. And I feel like it's actually going to be 
strong and peaceful and almost like renewed all right so uh that is what i have for you capricorn please subscribe to my channel enter to be into the 10k subscriber giveaway uh if you're already subscribed you're already entered and if you'd like to book a personal reading information's in the description box below and until next time capricorn love and light take care